What's going on everyone? We're gonna be taking a look at SoFi. My name is D Anthony with evolutiontraders.com. Now it's been a little bit of time since I've made a video on SoFi, just quite frankly, because it, the stock really hasn't been doing much um, as of late, you know, the last few months, uh, you know, hasn't really done anything. So what we're looking at here, we're gonna be looking at the weekly time frame. There's no real need to kind of look at the intraday uh, charts on this thing. Let's kind of just get a macro perspective, kind of see where we stand here on SoFi. Again, I know not a lot of you guys day trade SoFi. Most of you guys are either holding long, averaging down, have some sort of position in it. So let's kind of speak from that perspective. If we're looking at what is going on here with SoFi, we do got these lows here, $4.77. That was put in back in October. October, uh, the week of the 10th. Now, if we kind of scroll back in time here, go back to May, the week of the 9th here, you can see we kind of touched that $4.50 range. However, you know, had a little bit of a bounce above it. So we have been building a floor for multiple months here. If we look at one, two, three, four, five, about six months, we've been building this baseline floor down here between four and five dollars right so you know nothing too much going on here i don't really see sofi getting down below four dollars and 77 cents but again we always have to kind of play devil's advocate let's say for example we did lose that four dollars and 77 cent floor potentially where could we be going potentially we could be going down to the lower Bollinger Band, which is sitting at around 433. Now, Bollinger Bands now are starting to get tight. Anytime we do get tight, we do get a move, but we are still trapped in between a rock and a hard place. One thing that I do like on SoFi, we are trading over the weekly five-day moving average. However, we did get rejected here at a level of supply. You can see just last week, we did put in those highs at around $5.80, and we've got rejected. It opened up a little bit lower, and now we're kind of trending backwards down. But I wouldn't get too concerned Concerned until we lose the weekly five day moving average that price is sitting at around five dollars and 15 cents let's just make things very clean and clear for the sake of you know being um uh very very simple right if we lose five dollars and you have a position in this, we could be going a little bit lower. Now, I'm not saying we're going down to two or one dollars, but we could be going a little bit longer and it could be take a little bit longer to, you know, kind of get this stock going in the right direction that everyone would like to see it going. So as long as we hold the five dollar floor, I'm OK holding. We're going to have to sit here and kind of be patient with the overall market. It's not just SoFi. It's a lot of stocks around around the uh, around the board that haven't been performing as nice as we'd like to see them perform. Obviously, we know we've got other issues bigger uh, at hand that are kind of driving the market right now but one thing that i do want to kind of note if we can manage to get SoFi over six dollars and seven cents get that closed over there on a weekly candle that's a weekly 20 day moving average on the weekly time frame that is going to have potential to to kind of run uh very very quickly and make a, a little bit of money for us right so i'm not saying you know we're going to be able to retire off of it but if, if you have a, a decent sized position and you're averaged in between four and five dollars here you know and we pop this six dollar uh 20 day moving average here we've got potential to run up to the upper Bollinger Band, which is sitting at around 750. So that's about a dollar fifty worth of room, depending on what your average price is. Now you may be thinking back to yourself, well, you know, my average is closer to 10, it's closer to 12. You know, what about me? What about us sitting up here? We do have the 50 day moving average on the weekly time frame sitting at 865. For me personally, nothing has changed in the trend until SoFi is over $8.65. Until we can close over that 50 day moving average, we just have to remain patient, right? You can either do one of two things. You can chalk up your losses, write it off, right? And move on and be done with the stock. Or you can continue to just hold and wait out this market, right? Uh, I don't know when things are going to be turning around. If I did, I'd be a very, very rich man, just like everyone else. But, you know, what we have is the technicals. What we have is time and what we have is patience. All we can do is kind of wait and see what's going to happen here. Over $6, room to $750. Uh, over $750, room to $865. Again, this is this is the mark that we need to get over. We need to get over $8.65. That's going to really shoot us back up to $10, $11, and $13 here. Those are the major levels of macro levels that I'd be concerned about here. Anything down here on the floor is just kind of an averaging down and holding. So if you're not averaging down and getting it, your, your cost basis is low as you can, I would just be kind of sitting out waiting for the ride, right? Um, again, 
I wouldn't be too concerned until we lose $4.77. If we do lose $4.77, I'll definitely make another video and kind of see and discuss about what's going on and, and what we could potentially see here. But with that being said, my name is DeAnthony with EvolutionTraders.com. If you guys would like to trade with me predominantly, I'm going to be trading options each and every single day. And I do trade mega caps. So, with, you know, your Teslas, Apples, Amazons of the world. Um, join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.